three months of the summer. Yeah. Because Seven goes to school in Illinois for uh, some other stuff, I think, also for theater acting. and acting. Yeah, so for like acting, that's yeah. like their main passion. But come back home in Maryland for the summer, so trying to grind events. But yeah, these two have, I don't think I've played since last summer. Yeah. So we'll see how this goes. They play a lot of line together, though, so. True. Yeah, a little, yes. little bit of a team kill, in a way. Yeah, a little bit of a team kill. You're going to see a lot of Seven just do a lot of walling aerials, a lot of big hitboxes, a lot of short hop forward airs, a lot of back airs. Um, just trying to keep Jillypuff away. Yep. Eve's going to want to try to find things like that, yeah. Reads the low recovery. She can um, she can go low and try to, or go high because Puff's uh, vertical mobility isn't very good. So if she kind of commits to going low or going high, then she can fast fall or, or go high. But yeah, see, big, big short hop forward air. Short hop forward air. Doing it right there. That hitbox is massive. Yeah. Um, at least once a set, I swear, every time these two, Eve will hit a down throw rest tech chase. Um, so we'll see if that happens. I, I swear I've seen it every single time. Yeah. It, do you think, uh, how do you think of forward air, like, as a tool in this matchup? For, for Sheik? Sheik? Yeah. I think it's pretty good, especially when you're as fast as technical as 7 is. Like, you can really throw it out. And, like, the worst part about Sheik's forward air, I would say, is that it has a little bit of startup, right? It's not as fast as some other moves, right? Like a Fox and Air or anything like that. Um, so she can get, like, hit in the air. So, if, like, Eve, like, reads and, like, gets the right timing and, like, goes in with a forward air or a back air or something. Yeah. Ooh, catching the, uh... The no nope. invincibility. Good yeah. smash there. Gonna live and it. Not going for rest there is smart because seven pretty much like the back air would rinse and repeat if they didn't go for ops attack and ops attack just seals it early. True. Um, but yeah, forward air just a huge hitbox and, and puff. Uh, it kind of hits in a way where puff has a little bit of trouble um, hitting exactly. She like has a good hitbox is like right in front of her, right? Like all of her aerials kind of hit right in front except for down air and up air. So like she can like get in that little like 45 degree area and then come down with a big hitbox. So we'll see how that works out. But right now he's actually been doing a really good job, just uh, staying out of that zone. Like has got, like I think Stefano has missed a couple of uh, aerials really close and gotten grabbed a few times. And that's a uh, a sheik you don't really want to get grabbed. Uh, in center stage, not too bad. Um, near the ledge, not good. Right. So. Yep. Ooh, good back there. Yeah. Coming. Close it out for seven, tying it up two stocks to two. Yeah. Seven starting to schmooze a little bit more. I feel like seven is a bit more of a like uh, warms up during the set yeah. sort of player. Seven definitely is a warmer upper. Eve, I also think, is kind of a warmer upper, but yeah, see, there's the high recovery. Tries to get the reverse nair. Misses the L cancel. Yeah. But a lot of percent on Stefano right now. Back are going to start sending off stage, which is going to lead to. Um, it's gonna lead to edge guard situations like this. Yeah, full pressure there from Eve. Yeah, Black gets forward air. A little bit of an ambiguous situation, right? Eve didn't know if uh, Seven was gonna land on the, the ground or go for the, the platform. Oh, back air going to. Okay. Sheik really Straight good ahead. at hitting those side platforms. Um, her short hop back air can just hit the side platforms, and it makes it really difficult for a lot of characters to. They get a lot of characters side platform is kind of safety, you know, it's home yeah. a lot of times you see like H-Box play against Fox and you go to the side platform a lot because it's kind of, it's a little bit of a safer position. They get yeah. Sheik though, it's hard, it's hard because she can pretty much attack any character on that side platform. And so Stefano right here is going to be looking for, ooh, nice call out on the run of shield. That's a jab reset rest, that's oh, it. Oh, that is going to be it. Eve taking it. I do think Seven has a bit of a bad habit of just ju doing jump forward air. This is a classic. Yeah. She, uh, Marks like to do it too. They'll just jump forward air. Yeah. Um, so Eve calling that out really well. So we're gonna see Yoshi's. I think this makes sense. Like I said earlier, like she gets massive hitboxes and they're all gonna kill. Like all of her moves except for down air are really strong. Like, and uh, Puff's definitely gonna die unless uh, you know she gets a couple early. Edge guards or, or games, but at lower percent, like see a back throw right there. Uh, Stefan knows a lot of mix ups off of that, so he has to commit to something. Yep. Eve holding strong right now, but seven still in the lead. Yeah, and Eve wants to kind of stay on the ground a lot, because um, Sheik is really good at just swatting people away in the air and like. Yeah. And uh, Crouch is a huge part of this matchup, right? Without Crouch, this matchup I think would be a lot worse, honestly. Because being able to crouch him with a grab and getting underneath jab, especially stuff. Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah, getting it, be able to like, especially jab. Like, Sheik's jab, really good setup on on floaties to get kills. Um, it'll lead into forward air, like higher percents. And it comes out really quick, so it can be hard to always uh, CC in time. 
true, true. That is going to be a kill. With seven, two, seven. Barely yeah. getting the shield drop out. The shield was very low there. Yeah, seven playing fast enough to get that kill. Starting to uh, find himself in trade situations. Yeah, gets most of the time. Dash deck. Most of the time on these two sets, you can kind of tell who's who's doing better is when uh, when they're right next to each other and see who wins his interactions a lot. A lot of times, I I see Reed more recently. Seven's been winning his interactions, but this last two games, Eve's been getting a lot. Um, she's been really doing a good job of getting in there and then getting her hits and then backing up and getting some early grabs too. But right now, Stefano just really walling out. Ooh, the down air. Sheik's down air has a weird hitbox. Can be kind of tricky to hit sometimes. It's also yeah. a little slow. Yeah. Ooh, nice shield drop, but too low enough percent to, to get a true follow up off drill. Has to go for a mix up there. Yeah, see, back air right here gonna be really scary for Dilly Puff here. See if she can get down from the platform. It's fine in her way. Oh, yeah, that down tilt. Oh, nice CC. Oh, well, that's, without that CC, that dash knight was gonna kill. Down tilt really crazy in this matchup. It's really good at. Oh, thought he was gonna go on the platform. I always get tricked up by that too. Yeah. It's always so ambiguous whether she gets on the platform or not. True. Good forward smash. Yeah, I like that. Tied up here, two stacks to two. Yeah, really close. Down. I would say he's playing that mix up game pretty well, especially when they're close by. Yeah. She's getting a lot of good stuff. But Yoshi's makes it tough. Especially if the safety of the side platform isn't really there yeah. uh, against Sheik is hard. Ooh. Oh, that was if that was like five percent less, ten percent less, that would have been a really nice little mix up. True. Eve barely getting the CC out there, so she wouldn't die. Ooh. Yep. Somehow it gets away. Yeah, that's gonna be a stock. Suddenly seven in the lead. And then chasing Sheik really bad. Like yeah. every character has a really hard time just chasing Sheik around because she is so fat. Oh, that's actually just gonna be it. Yep. Tying it up. Good play there from Eve. Yeah, Eve, last Eve getting the back turn to the ledge is a, that's a huge win condition for her. So we'll see if that if Stefano can adapt a little to that and not do his best job to not get thrown. Down smash. Up tilt. Up tilt pressure. Yeah, it gets away. It gets yeah. away. Oh, that pound barely missing. Spot dodge. Oh, auto red spot dodge. Oh, play there from Eve. Stefano doing a lot of nair out of shield. Oh, That's but not, the up air. Not going to kill just yet. Almost though. Stefano's going to be looking for down tilt. Down tilt up air is going to set up right now. Um, oh. Yeah, good holding down there. Just has to try to get past Sheik's big wall of hitboxes. It's going to be tough. Uh, Sheik's really good at walling, walling her opponents. Like, and then, yeah, find the tomahawk. That's going to be it. Oh, he misses. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, gets the second one. Seven, not relenting and getting yeah. in the game, too. Still a good position, regardless, right? Like. Obviously, like, missed the fourth throw, still gets a good tech chase. Um, it'd still be hard for Eve to live that situation no matter what. But that was a good Tomahawk. Uh, Seven hasn't really thrown that out yet in the set at all. So we see it when, when it matters most, which is a, a clutch game, too. Do not want to let don't want to let anyone get up too well on you, you know what I mean? That's bad. Three, two. What have we got? A fresh game here on Dreamland. Eve playing uh, the traditional counter pick here. Yeah. Uh, uh, it, it's still it's, it's a good counter pick. Uh, Sheik is gonna have to. She can really rinse and repeat a lot of Sheik edge guards, right? Yeah. Um, and uh, she's not gonna die from down throw stuff as early, which is nope. nice. That's an added benefit. Yeah, that's, that's actually a huge benefit. Yeah, huge benefit. Uh, you see, yeah, these corner situations though, not going Eve's way. This is a lot of stuff. A lot of times when I watch them two play, a lot of this happens where Stefano is patrolling center stage with the lead, like just throwing out big forward airs, and you having a tough time trying to get out of the corner, but. We'll see how she fights her way out. She's doing a good job the first, the first and honestly, the second game, too. Is a down throw. I, every time, I tell you, at least once a set, they always get uh, between these two. Like, it, it always happens. One rest. Yeah, one rest changing the game right now. Eve, 118%, still living 126. That Dreamland Savager. Yeah, yeah holding down here is going to be really strong. Um, Jab's not going to pop it in on the Tomahawk. That's going to be it. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be the it. The eyes for the up up air, but Stefano just going for the forward air. Also, maybe try to tech the platform, which is something you can do as well. Yep. Nice, nice crouch. Eve a little less on the side of uh, just ripping those rests off the crouch. She says in her herself, her own words, that her reactions aren't that great. She's not good at reacting to miss grab, so she'll end up going for a lot of grab instead instead of rest. Well, um, unless it's like really obvious, she says. But Stefano gonna be good at not making it very obvious, right? Yeah. I agree. 
Yeah, Stefano uh, just being so ambiguous yeah. here, but kind of messes up a little on the tech. Eve oh. taking advantage, but seven right back with that back air. Yeah, Eve does not want to get stuck to these platforms. She's missing her shield drops, but Stefano backing up is just worried about getting hit. So yeah. lets Eve kind of get away from the side platform. Yeah, it's a, it's good that Eve like kind of threatened there uh, because you know Eve's shield was a little low there. Yeah. So you don't want you don't as Puff you always worry that, you're always that worried. little bit with your shield. Yeah, you're always worried about the shield, but thankfully like at least when it comes to shield break that Puff's body is like the same size or the same like shape as her shield. So yeah. she ends up getting a shield poke a little easier yeah. than other characters because like most characters like just their head and their feet will be exposed, right? But her whole body gets exposed. So at yeah, least for not that at least for shield poking, right? Like at least for shield breaks, it's a little better if she gets poked, you know, because you won't just insta die. True. But you have Eve struggling to find this kill. Stefano just like, kind of patrolling the top platform. Um, oh, that could be a big. Oh, calls out the spot dodge with the down smash. I think that's exactly what they wanted there. Wow, Nair's still lingering. She power shields it and then tries to punish it, and Nair's still that lingering hitbox. She's just holding down. Oh. Power shield and the drill, really, uh, really smart there, really clutch. Back there, there we go. Gets the back the air. This is gonna be it. Too far away. Oh, well, okay. I was kind of right. Well, actually, the dash attack. Yeah, dash attack will like kill floaties uh, if she gets them to two high percent. Um, and it could be a pretty good burst option because you're not really ready for it. And you can't really see. Oh, that's not gonna kill you either. But that was a really good up air. Eve's really good at doing. Uh, it was the wrong way. Nair yeah, finds the Nair out of shield. He just barely not having the time to react to the not to react to the uh, get up there. So we're tied up after all that. Yeah, after all that tied. Tied. Which honestly, as, as, as seven, I think you're happy about that. Yeah. Oh, went on a little bit of an uh, adventure. Yeah, but, went on a little uh, bit of adventure. The top platform yeah. seemed to be doing really well for uh, for seven. He's having a lot of trouble with his top platform gameplay. Yeah. Yeah, Wispy's gonna make it so she doesn't get a punish off of that. I think on a non tri platform stage, I think up there is really good just to try to shark Sheik. She yeah. doesn't have the best hitboxes coming down. True. Yeah, so here's the corner situation. Gets a little antsy, I think. I think Seven was just waiting for her to make a move there. Yeah, dash attack. Was looking for the fair, doesn't get it. Pressure yeah, by top. Eve, not amounting much. But oh, does no get jump. the up air, up yeah, air. Yeah, no jump. There's gonna be a lot of percent. Seven staying Eve aggressive. Eve went for a hit that was a little too ambiguous. And Seven just dancing around Puff, just not afraid, right? Like, yep. You can't be afraid. Like, for Jigglypuff, you can never be afraid. That's kind of what she wants, right? Like, Jigglypuff has a weird X factor. Yeah. Where yeah. she gets you really scared. Yep. But that's exactly, like, what you don't want to do is ever be scared because there's, there's always something you can do, you know? Like, True. And, uh,. I feel, like, I feel like Puff Puff is the amalgamation of that. Yeah, she Where it's really like, is. Oh, it's why nice Hungrybox was... I feel like it's why Hbox was so good in the Five Gods era, but, yes. like, struggles a bit more now. It's like, Hbox has insane yeah. aura. And, and honestly, like, Eve's always feels frustrated because she tries to... Obviously, Hbox is the best Puff. Yeah. So she tries to watch Hbox get some inspiration, and then every yeah. time she watches him play, like, his opponents always just play super scared. Yeah. She's like, why don't they do that against me, right? Yeah. Because Hbox just has crazy aura. Yeah. Ooh, that was a... She's been really good about... Uh, calling these uppers. Oh, yeah. Try to play a little mix up off that. Nair. And Stefano, the Stefano Nair out of shields are just so clean. He was hitting me with that a lot too um, in our set. Um, this is a really important game. Um, we'll, see, we'll see if Seven saves Tomahawk Grab. I think. Yeah. Tech chase. Ooh, a little late. Just a little late on the tech chase. We're gonna see if she gets out the corner. It's gonna be scary. If she dies, she'll die to Fortier here. So we'll see. Seven yeah, see, wants it. You see Seven want it. You, you see the the win condition here. But finds it. Back throw. Oh, gets the fair. Oh, Jerez gonna do it for Eve. Wow, dude. Okay, that's okay. So something a little bit about that, right? Is that yeah. that is a true combo, but it depends on if you get the right animation, right? So you know, like when Falco down airs you, you'll get like you'll get kind of spun around. Yeah, like the right spin. Exactly. J J Jigglypuff has to get that too. But if she does get the right animation, it will combo on pretty much ev I think everybody wow. um, in the game. Fox. It doesn't matter who you are. So, but it's a little bit of luck. It's a little, just a little bit. True. But also. Maybe Eve could tell you more. Maybe I'm maybe I'm misremembering some yeah. sort of information. Uh, that's, a, that's a big that's a big call out for her confidence. I feel like too. I mean, 
That, that's huge. To go yeah. for that on a game three, I mean, that's a really important game three because now she gets counter pick advantage, right? If things yep. go south here. And Stadium's going to be hard, but honestly, I think a little less hard um, due to transformations. I, I guess agree. Sheik probably does better on the transformations, but um, it's just still wacky, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. any, anything can happen. And Eve, I think, is actually a pretty good player on the transformations, despite I don't think Jillipuff's really the best transformation character. True. Oh, yeah. Patrol in the air there. Yeah, just just finds her in the air. Yep. But a uh, really close stock. If Eve can... Uh, yeah, put, oh, there we go. Eve really good about getting that. Uh, oh, just barely missing. Eve really good. Uh, Sheik, when she first up Bs, doesn't have invincibility yet, right? And uh, Seven, I think, is trying to go for double poof. Double poof, kind of hard for floaties to deal with if they grab the ledge early, because they don't have, they don't have like a ledge dash, like you know. Drop, dropping two edge guards is uh, is rough, because now Seven's probably gonna get a lot more percent because of that, and uh, Eve could have had this kill a lot longer ago, so. Yeah. But that's not gonna kill. Oh, it does kill. Okay. Yeah, that kills. And now Eve. Oh, that's actually really scary. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Oh, rest. Oh, yeah, the? yeah, yeah. That's a that's a real setup. But that's a. That was nasty. That was crazy. Yeah, we don't really see that anymore. She's gonna live. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Good. This this is why this is why I said Eve's the most fun puff to watch. Eve is really Legit. fun. She's got little setups like that. The um, rest I think great. Seven could have lived, but I I think in the heat of the moment, right? You're trying to mash out, you know, and like, you're just not thinking about it. Oh, a triple fair. Looking like a yeah. uh, ult. Smash forward. Yeah, looking like cloud back air. Yeah. Oh. He's playing. Uh, he's playing confident despite oh. she's uh, being upset a little bit. Now, guys. Yeah, yep. gets the. Yep. Oh. 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 He. Yeah, missed the back air a little bit on the edge guard, and uh, Stefano makes it back. Still a tricky uh, corner situation. Yeah, gonna be tough. I've seen Stefano do way better when she's in the corner before. He, he's doing a really good job. She's playing smart by getting out. Two. Coming down with down air. It's like the little brother down air. Yeah. Every little brother, like when you play Toon Link in like the new games, and he just comes down with the. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah for sure. Kirby. Right. The cla Kirby's the classic. Yeah. Kirby's the classic. But it's down B with some. Yeah. Ooh, a nice weight dash to get through. Backer's gonna take it. Ooh. So we gotta, despite a crazy rest, right? Yep. Uh, but this is what happened last last stock. They were tied up, and uh, Eve got a quick. Quick kill, but Stefano right now just putting out a lot of hitboxes, trying to get any percent before she gets the kill. Yeah, looking strong. But it still. might not even happen. Yep. But with the windmill out, better watch out. Getting grabbed will lead to a guaranteed rest uh, with the down throw. I don't think there's anything she can do. I think Fox maybe can shine out. They're both frame one, both rest and shine. So, and, um, so I don't know about that. But oh wow, that was gonna, that was really close. Yeah, Eve's gonna need uh yeah. Oh, that back say. though is gonna kill. Seven just being five. relentless. I think Eve got a little. I think she gets a little antsy in the corner. I think she could take a little bit of time, just taking her time a little bit. Um, maybe trying to go up a high on stadium. It's a little harder. So I think we're gonna yeah. see Fountain. Found. I think Fountain's gonna be the play or FD. But FD. I think she's gonna be a little worried about FD because Stefano's really good at just throwing out a bunch of those hitboxes. Yeah, so FD. we're gonna see a FD's Fountain. FD's good for him. But we'll see how it goes. Sheik, this is a good Sheik stage regardless. Yes. Um, so we'll see. This is a this is actually a pretty hype game five. Yeah. This is for our, for uh, for a lot of, uh, nice. lot of money. Nice. And Eve gets the get up attack. Up. Gets the get up attack. That's a huge uh, that's a huge lead because uh, now the whole matchup can really shift. She doesn't have to be worried about running into Sheik moves, trying to make something happen, right? Sheik yep. now has to chase her. But she is still very good at that. <laughs> yep. So, and already Stefano, a lot of percent. But you're going to see Eve probably patrolling the side platform a little more, right? Just trying to get some yep. percent. This is some big, uh, this is some big damage. Ooh. Ooh. That curious. Nice CC. Oh, and misses up the up B. Goes low. I think the weak forwarder would have covered that up B again, but uh, obviously not what you want to see. Not nope. good. Not good. We'll see if Stefano can bring it back. Um, Definitely has it in them, right? Like, for sure. Yeah. Oh. Dude, the punishing the Sheik chain sometimes can be tough. Uh, when she pulls it back, like, it kind of hits. Yeah. It's kind of good yeah. at, at, at hitting you. True. No, it really, like, it's a great chain. That's why it's such a great troll move. Nice power shields. He's been really, really good on the power shield. There's another Tomahawk. I feel like Stefano could be going for a little oh. more. Okay, she What's went for rest, a... That would have been a crazy rest today. She's already hit some crazy ones. Yep. Going to be a good percent. Uh, she can't get the kill off that. If she's on the platform, maybe. Ooh, that could have been. Oh. 
Nice. G catches him with bad DI. Oh, but misses the rest. Yeah, I think uh, I think she just thought Zephyr has been doing a good job aiming towards like the edge of the platform so that it's kind of ambiguous. And uh, when you kind of oh. see the, the win in front of you, right, you can kind of pick a little option a little early, you know? Yeah. Nice grab. Just calling out. You're so confident. That's not there oh, it yeah. is. Okay. This time, Eve's going to cl clean it up. And that's going to get the kill. Yeah. Just Almost barely. didn't kill. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just I, was, I was surprised. 80? <laughs> Me too. Yeah. We'll see how... Uh, this is pretty much Eve's game to win, I feel like. Yeah. I mean, Stefano would have to play really crazy. He's out player of 10 right now. But, but Stefano's up to the Yeah, task. right? I mean, yeah. Stefano's so good at this matchup. They play so much. He knows her habits. So I wouldn't be surprised if he uh, can clutch out the stock. Yep. Oh! Yeah, not get falling for the up tilt there. He's yeah. trying to go for Tomahawk. That's still a lot of damage. Yeah, still good defense. Uh, certain defensive plays that... Ooh, nice shield drop call out, but too high percent to get a true follow-up off. So Eve yep. just trying to find her way down, trying not to get hit by four there. Yeah, any hits from Eve will be brutal for Seven. Yeah. Seven just has to make like a ninja, gets the fair. That's going to kill. And catch her with that DI. Last stock, ladies and gentlemen. 2-2, two, two, even Seven. Seven getting... Uh, Tiny little percent there, seven percent. Rest is always on deck. Oh, but it's gonna get this rest punish. Not she's really, to... she's really throwing these out. Game yeah, five. too much. Yeah, this is even. This is oh, just big. Suddenly, seven in the lead. Fifty-five percent, seventy-eight percent now. Eve, gotta get this next. Oh, this is so hit. tense. All of a sudden. Oh, the fair. That's not gonna do it. Barely, just barely. Ninety-three percent. Eve, looking for some sort of a play. Oh, the Nair. Good pa defense, really yeah, good from Eve. Yeah, Eve's defense right now, but... The Nair. Oh! This is so tense. 97%, 106% for Eve. Oh, That's the it. fair. That's going to be it. Seven again with another pop-off. Beats Eve and is moving on in the bracket. So a good showing from both players. Shout out to Eve. That was a clutch comeback. Great Just showing, some playing, amazing rest. I mean, on the Dreamline game too, right? Like, yeah. Stefano was playing the top platform game a lot and uh, was just, it was working really well. And then yeah. goes to Stadium, right? Power yeah. Pick Stadium doesn't work because there's no top platform. Oh, no, it, no, 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 I'm sorry. Did yeah. work. You got the one it on did Stadium. Work. But then yeah. all, back on the stage with the top platform, uh, he was just having our trouble. I mean, Stefano is so quick, right? You never yeah. know when they're going to drop down with a shield drop. Whoosh, whoosh. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and was just moving around really solidly. Um, yeah. Eve, uh, it was a tough one. Cause the, Eve, miss, the miss rest to go three stocks to one on the edge guard, right? Yeah. That's rough. Going for a CC rest off the Nair was uh, was rough as well. Yeah. Um, it almost felt like Eve felt this energy of like, I, fit, I felt like the energy for us, at least for me, was that like Eve was, this was like Eve set, like this was yeah. in Eve's direction. But I think that Eve, you know, some of the rest were like buying into the hype a little, you know what yeah, I mean? In terms yeah. of like it's just this shit kill, we get the kill. And seven was just lock it was just like It was close though. That last yeah. one was really close to hitting. Uh because Eve was playing so well. I think she I think she, like she purposely wanted to CC the Nair out of shield, right, and go for that. But that was a rough uh, if Eve fans, rough yeah. rough little comeback. But yeah. uh Stefano moves on to get their chance against Malachi, which they haven't had this tournament. Uh Malachi Stefano has been uh been played a lot yeah during that was actually the mddc finals yes mddc finals uh stefano has gotten really close but has not been able to take one yet and so this could be the day this could be uh, last time they played at a bmw on thursday i'm pretty sure um it was game five stefano was up and then malachi does what he does best and just makes a zero to death comeback on last stock and just closes it out and clutches it out because malachi and last stock really clutch yeah um yeah, Malachi. We don't get to see the Eve Malachi rematch. I think she would have wanted that. Yeah. Um, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. I think we're probably gonna end up hopping off. I don't think they want. I was Speedy Slot told me just to fill for the next set. So that's fair. Um, yeah. No. Nonetheless, it was it was uh, it was fun commentating the the set with you. Always a uh, source of knowledge. I feel like any any time I get on comms with you. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to like half pay attention to commentating, half absorb the information. I think like, okay, write this down, write this down, write this down. I think that's kind yeah. of a top player moment. I think a yeah. lot of times they get on and like I'm yeah. just 
I'm trying to explain everything, but I it's good. I, it's good. It's, it lets me just commentate the game and, and not get things incorrect. I think it's good to an extent. Yeah. I think sometimes it's a little much. Yeah. I don't think commentary necessarily is always about having the most, you know, like analytical. You know, it's a mix of good stuff. We're yeah. cheering about something about Sharpie. I can't hear. Her. We're shouting out Kush Messiah Kush for Messiah. helping run TO. Kush Messiah, TO. Thank you, Kush Messiah. Thank you, Kush. Our beloved MD, TO. True, true. Sharpie's talking on uh, to the venue right now. She's basically just saying that she's uh, old school Tia. She's happy to try to make things better at Xanadu. She uh, true, true. put in a lot of her own money. Yeah, she's for the, she's the reason this, this event has had this, this pop bonus hype. Yeah. We're getting hyped for top three. Me, Malachi, seven. Yes. Should uh, be. So we're getting uh, Malachi versus seven next. Chill. I'm going to hop off because I want to like warm up and stuff. So true, true. I'll try to find somebody for you so you're not sitting here alone. But Lucius Finals should be hype. Storyline. I know people love storylines, right? Storylines. Yep. Can seven take their first set against Malachi? It's been really close. We've got a couple game fives. Malachi seems to always clutch it out. Seven's been really practicing the Peach matchup and doing a lot of analysis. So we're going to see how this goes, right? This is a culmination of all their hard work. and uh, But it's not the end of the world, right? You know, there's always more tournaments to be had. I think a lot of people put a lot of pressure themselves, as in, like, this is their last set of all time. It's not. Even if Seven, Seven doesn't win and is upset about things, like, there's always many more chances. Like, they come back next summer. Like, there's always more chances. So Yeah. But it'll still be hype nonetheless. True, true. Johnny Lawrence, classic nonetheless. Uh I'm gonna head out. You guys enjoy the rest of the top three. You guys will see me after the set. Yeah. Shout outs to Kevino, Kevin Maples. Kevin Maples sitting in grands right now. The Fox Maestro. He will see if he will be facing Malachi in grand finals or if Seven can make the run back. Should be uh should be exciting to see who wins between these two. So right now, we, uh, as we wait, we got to thank y'all in chat. I am, yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. Yeah, we, uh, we uh, are looking forward to, uh, to seeing Seven versus Malachi up here on the stream soon. Uh, heading out uh, a week of, uh, you know, of Smash. You know, this uh, this is a week and a half of uh, uh, Smash the whole way through. Uh. Yo.